ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the sponsored town hall, MEB 2020 towards inclusive higher education in America, a prestigious event jointly organized by the Indian Council of Social Science Research and the Departments of Humanities of Dr. V. S. Krishna Gopal Degree College, Vishakhapatnam. It is indeed an momentous occasion and it is my privilege as well as pleasure to introduce and invite the esteemed personalities who will grace the stage with their charismatic presence today. First and foremost, I would like to invite the president of today's event, someone who inspires her with his demonstrative visionary leadership. And uh, of course, a very deserving term for him is epitome of dynamism. He is none other than our beloved principal, sir, Dr. I. D. Z. Babugaru. <laughs> His dedication to education is truly commendable, and I request Dr. Sarda Madam, Richard Telugu, to present him with a bouquet and a token of our appreciation. We are also honored to have with us today Professor T. V. Kattimanigaru, the Vice Chancellor of the Central Tribal University of Andhra Pradesh and who is also a famous educationist and a renowned figure in literature, who is instrumental in the establishment of the tribal university and his extensive contributions to academia are truly inspiring and I would like to request Dr. R. Kusma Kumari Garo to extend a warm welcome at the same time to the Thank you sir. Next, I take immense pleasure in inviting Professor B. Sudhakar Garu, the Honorary Director of ICSSR SR Hyderabad, to grace our days. His expertise and guidance in the field of social sciences are invaluable, and I request Y. Jahavi, Lecture in Computer Science, to present him with a bouquet in appreciation of his work. Now I invite Dr. P. Jaya Garu, the Vice Principal of our college, who always plays a crucial role in nurturing our institution. And I would like to request Dr. C. H. R. Jimmy, Lecture in Economics, to honor her with a bouquet as a token of our gratitude. And Dr. Rupavani Garu, our esteemed event coordinator, who has worked tirelessly to make this event possible. And we are truly grateful for her dedication. Dr. Patma Lecture and Politics, we request you to present her with a bouquet to acknowledge her remarkable efforts. <laughs> for his dedication. Finally, and now I invite Dr. Ravi Babugaru, the IKC coordinator, to grace the days with work in ensuring the quality network is invaluable. And I request Dr. Arun Lecture in Commerce to present him with a bouquet in recognition of his contribution. Now I would like to invite our beloved principal Dr. I. B. Z. Babugaru and also the president of this event to take the lead and conduct the rest of the program. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for gracing us with your captivating presence. 
and let us look forward to an enriching and insightful session ahead. Have a great day. Thank you for giving this opportunity. in Amritka. As we know very well, the government of India has introduced many initiatives. Today, we are part of this program just because of those initiatives. Today, in our minutes, we have the luminaries, the prestigious uh, Tribal University Vice Chancellor, Professor T. V. Katmanigal and also the Honorary Director of uh, ICSSR Regional Center Hyderabad, Professor Sudhakar Redigal, and also my colleagues on the stage, Academic Coordinator Dr. D. Sarah Kumargal, IQC Coordinator Dr. K. Raibhavgal, and the Vice Principal of the College and also the control of examinations and the executive council member of Andhra University, Dr. V. Jagal, and program coordinator and also head of the department of history, Dr. A. L. Gopuanagal on the stage, and also my colleagues and delegates from different colleges in the hall, and my dear students, I welcome all of you to this program. And definitely, you are going to benefit from this program. The presence of these luminaries on the stage ensures that you will benefit from this program. Why do I say so? The government of India, also government of Andhra Pradesh, they have triggered a discussion or a dialogue among the educational institutions on the developments in the uh, country. We have been witnessing various developments in the fields of uh, 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 what we call technology. Uh, but keeping it away, let's come to our curriculum. As far as the curriculum is concerned, many new initiatives are introduced. And there is a change in the education policy with the advent of NEB 2020. There is a hue and cry from some activists. But keeping all these away and coming to the crux of the whole thing, the whole structure of the curriculum of India is revamped and revisited. And I hope the experts sitting on the stage, they are, definitely they will enlighten us with their deliberations. And even before that, I have to place before you a few things from our college side. Dr. V. S. Krishna Government Degree College, sir. Uh, this is an autonomous institution affiliated to Andhra University. This is a model college. In Andhra Pradesh, we have got a system called Model Resource Centers. This is like a, a cluster of colleges is brought together under one of uh, 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 what we call well-established college. This college has been monitoring and licensing between the government uh, with many other colleges. And we also invited faculty from all those neighboring colleges, especially from government colleges. We also have some participants from the uh, extreme end of Andhra Pradesh from Sulurkata as well. And so happy to have their presence in the hall. And we have been witnessing a sea change in the curriculum in Andhra Pradesh, thanks to the government of uh, India, especially our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi Garu for his dynamism and his visionary initiatives. And we are also equally thankful to our Honorable Chief Minister 
శ్రీ వైఎస్ జగన్మోహన్ రెడ్డి గారు ఫర్ హిస్ విజన్ టువర్డ్స్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఫర్ ది ఎల్డర్ జనరేషన్ ఈస్ ఇన్వెస్టింగ్ ఎ లాట్ ఇన్ అవర్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ ఇన్ ద కాలేजेस వి హావ్ టు బి థాంక్ఫుల్ షల్ వి గివ్ ఎ క్లాప్ ప్లీజ్ See, even if I create a wonderful opportunity, if you, if you cannot afford to go and avoid that opportunity, what is the use of that? So, he is creating a sea change among the, uh, among the educational institutions in the curriculum as well as providing a facility by way of Jagannana Vidya Divana and Vasathya Divana to promote education among the deprived people of the uh, state. And not only that, in our state, the commissioner of college education sir our commissioner dr bola uh, paskaria goes he is a person who never confines himself to his office always he visits the colleges and he goes to the grassroots level and he understands the problem and he also gives a solution in a practical manner addressing the issues in the colleges and he visited this college umpteen number of times by now he also interacted with the students and also faculty members and whenever he visits a college yes yes uh, he understands a problem and then he gives a perfecting solution in this manner we have been uh, embarking upon this NEP 2020 sometimes we are a bit uh, apprehensive about in implementing certain policies but once we get into it we find it very useful and we have introduced these internships in all three years sir in first year we have introduced community service project at the end of the first year at the end of the second year we have introduced uh, community uh, sorry a uh, short term internship at the end of the third year one full semester students uh, spend their semester with the industry and our faculty member dr n sankara is he there sankara and uh, he is taking lead in uh, uh, mapping the students with the industries in this way we are trying to implement this nep 2020 in our college not only that we are also uh, trying to implement multi entry and multi exit option as well but still we need to make it uh, uh, what we call a full proof uh, policy in our college and we are toiling with that still so besides all these the faculty I'm so happy to share before you our faculty members, the team of faculty members, they are committed teachers, they are the strength of these institutions. They work hard, even in holidays. They don't uh, uh, relax at home, but they come to college. And that's why this year we could introduce a single major system in our college. And we have got as many as 24 single major subjects in our college. The college is offering UG, PG and also research and in our college we have got uh, 28 research guides and also 75 research scholars constitute a PhD. It is not a simple thing to have each many research scholars in a government uh, undergraduate college like this. But we are able to do all this with the support of our commissioner and also with the blessings of our uh, honorable uh, chief minister, uh, Sri Vice Chagam Mohan Radio, and with the support of my faculty. They have worked with me all through. Whenever I uh, propose any activity in the college, they have worked with me and they get into the activity and they never relax until they see the end of it. And today we have this prestigious program in the college with the support of my faculty, thanks to the program coordinator, Dr. Eva Eyal Gopwanigal, who works so hard and also motivates my faculty members and leads them in the path of unity. And together, we are serving the students, sir. All these things not for us, but for the sake of the students. The ultimate beneficiary of these efforts may be the government of India, uh, the state government, our commissionate, or the faculty, whoever works, that we are working only for the sake of my students. And ultimately, they are the beneficiaries. We want to provide quality education at the college. We want to give them a bright future. We want to serve the society through the student community. And our ultimate focus is the society. And not only that, we also have times with the 32 industries and also educational institutions to give an institutional and education and also industry uh, higher. We have been striving like that. Together, ultimately, we want to see that Andhra Pradesh is a place holding this activity and we are so thankful to ICSSR for their support and encouragement. 
Actually, I requested a few of my faculty members to submit proposals for a, a certain project, but they were a bit apprehensive. Finally, after I saw my message and let's move on. And we have got two luminaries on the stage. So the Hunter Radio Group is heading the regional center of ICSSR in Hyderabad. Uh, he is such a dynamic man, he has been visiting many institutions and motivating the faculty, especially faculty from humanities. Uh, in science, uh, 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 the science faculty, they have uh, many resources, many sponsoring institutions, whereas in arts and humanities, we have got very few. But though they are ready to uh, support us uh, and support our research, we are a bit hesitant. All the time we are apprehensive. Uh, to take a new initiative, but I hope uh, Sir will uh, uh, motivate all of us and trigger that uh, zeal among all of us. Thank you so much, and I hope uh, Sir will be giving the keynote address today. Let's listen to them. My request uh, on this occasion, Sir, our faculty will not speak on this occasion because time is very precious. We are running short of time. So, I request uh, Professor uh, P. Sudhakar Regular to speak on this occasion, please. Respected dignitaries, counselors, counselors, scholars, students. <laughs> really, I am very privileged to be the part of this lecture series program. And as you are aware, ICSO headquarters, I got a call from ICSO headquarters to organize series of lectures program, each state three program. Identify best three colleges from Andhra Pradesh. So we have five states, two states, two states, and I have no about this institution. So when we object the credentials of the college, the number of courses they are offering, the number of faculty they have, number of PG courses, the research centers, and all, and said, no, definitely we should go to this like a government college. Government College, De definitely government, we have to be conditioned in India. So, we have to very just try to even propose the names of the colleges, pretty colleges, names of the all states. So, suddenly we decided, no, no, we have issued a, quite a good number of uh, proposals from different colleges in Vijayanagar itself. This is uh, Vishakapatnam. And I said, no, no, better we go for a government college. It, it requires this kind of orientation. So, uh, therefore, I am happy. The college has got all the necessary facilities and all. But definitely, this lecture is going to be a transformative. As I say, SSR, since you are very quite a good number of faculty members, 80 and all faculty members, when I look at the research component, some of the research component is missing from this institution of the principal has to take up the serious note of it and make everyone now in the NAC and everything such a not how many publications you have what is very published that's the most important not just building biodata the qualitative aspect as well as well an important component now ICSSR has got a list of customized programs you name it it sponsors seminars Workshops, research personnel courses, faculty development programs. If any teacher is very serious in research, he can apply for a senior research fellowship. Two years, even salary protection is given in inner term to the institution. He can devote entirely to research. Okay. If, as principal has said, 75 PhD students student registered in this institution. There are doctorate fellowships are there. Every student will get 30,000 per month. In addition to HIV. But I have not seen any application for this institution for the doctor fellowship. Those who have completed also encourage them for both doctor fellowship. You have, since you have the faculty, you can, you can guide also. And not only this fellowship, you have the PhD student can visit any state. They have a, for data collection, the review of literature, visiting also. We have a travel grant for them. You can all, they can also apply for travel grant also. We can provide. And if any teacher, any researcher, any scholar who is very serious, presenting paper, international seminars also, all 
And short term projects, the short term projects or central government initiated projects, short term projects. If it is annual project, 6 lakhs, if it is a collaborative, 36 lakhs. 420 projects recently concluded. Just so, I have not seen many projects uh, from this side. So, now we need to take a chance and better apply. Don't they have? Apprehensions, whether you get it or not. Definitely you get it. Why don't you get it? If it is a sensible area, even themes also, we are giving themes. On the themes, if you develop, definitely you get it. Okay? So, this ICSSR is now organizing a series of lectures on thought provoking themes. That is Amrut Kaur Nimaj. Because it is all the So, this is. Very important because 2047 will be reaching 100 years of independence. When we are reaching 100 years of independence, we need to understand what is past happened, what is present. We need to focus what should be the course of development in future. So in this lecture series, national education policy is assume paramount importance but education which decides the course of the development. So therefore we have been covering our Professor Katimanzar for this uh, lecture series. This is the first lecture series in this direction. So I am sure this, this lecture will create a profound impact are this Amrutka Munas and because it is just not only titled that what I have got a profound impact on this. And Professor uh, Katiman sir is the national top company member of this racial education policy. So it is better than other than Professor Katiman sir, Dr. Katiman sir, so that if he speaks, he understands what is the behind this, uh, this draft. What is the logic? What is the philosophy behind this national education policy? Is a great, great educated national institutional builder. He has built our American on best tribal university. Now with the uh, central tribal university Vijayanagar, I think during his tenure definitely it reaches new heights. And this uh, national education policy really transforms. He rightly put it in his book, he published a book in October 2022, is a game changer. So definitely what is going to be a game changer is definitely positive because he speaks about curriculum, primary, pre-primary, secondary, higher education, and, and the new institution higher education of India is going to be created. And no hard facts like so, science and engineering now. Uh, everything are going to be now. Engineering, the humanities, engineering, science of engineering. I developed 100 questions in that book. 100 questions, what we likely to get issues while implementing this national education policy. Why do we need a national education policy? Whether it talks about the languages, it talks about transgender, talks about different aspects of curriculum, or 
covered in 100 questions that book is uh, sar with you so you can read that book your all your apprehensions all doubt will be cleared if you just question is there each page one question will be there at the top then a logical explanation to each question so that book consists 100 questions if you happens to read that book definitely it will enlighten you the curriculum which we designed really if you have idea about uh, you all know harari i think anybody who has heard about you all know harari is a telenium historian the best writer he has published series of books two books one is 21 lessons for 21st century he is a historian six dictation definitely any kind of situation changes any kind of change happens definitely what up very quickly that is what education so that all this what you are know and i spoke long back about this education for the next education policy consists of all these things great really it's wonderful what is put it to right here the book is a game changer is going to be a game changer soon so i will not take much of time because you will student to listen from him definitely you are going to be a game changer in your mind sir yeah. thank you with this uh, opportunity thank you Sir, thank you so much for uh, that uh, valuable message, not only to the faculty but also to the students. When we proposed this topic at EP 2020, we were not sure whether we are correct or not, whether we are apt or not. But now I realize God's hand is behind us in leading this way. Really, we could choose the right topic or the right person. Thank you so much. And before just a minute, sir. Uh, before the main resource person of today's program speaks, the students must understand his teacher and what he is. May I request all of our faculty members to introduce the resource person? Okay, sir. Yes, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Uh, Dr. Alpa Prigaru will introduce the resource person. Thank you, sir. 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 The more to the distribution is for the days and of the days. Learn to colleagues, faculty members from various colleges, and my dear students. It's a great pleasure and honor for me to introduce the renowned and visionary visionary academician, a great administrator, and the uh, vice chancellor of Central Tribal University, AP. And the former Vice Chancellor of Indira Gandhi National Tribal University for seven years, Professor T. V. Khatimani is a renowned personality in the field of literature and higher education. He has established himself as a, a well-known figure in literature, well-versed in creative writing with a social commitment. He has produced many literary works of his. high quality in different forms of literature as a translator tv katemani uh, has translated many literary and non literary texts from kannada to hindi hindi to kannada gujarati to kannada and english to hindi while translating he also is inclined in the study of uh, comparative literature with a view to show the inneness and composed the culture spread by the writings of uh, indian languages sir born into the deprived tribal family or uh, in koppal district of karnataka professor has lived his entire life with many challenges in most dire situations he never felt hopeless but fought with them with courage and learned the ways of life which came into his path these experiences taught him to think about the people of deprived class of the society and try to help them in overcoming their agonies at an early age he worked for them fought for them and made some significant steps to help them 
Professor Katamani was a distinguished member of Honorable President of India's delegation during the President's state visits to Norway and Finland in 2014 and to Sweden and Belarus in 2015 for signing of MOUs with the universities of these four countries. He played a pivotal role in these delegations. He worked as a professor at Maulana Ajad National Hindu University from 2002 to 14. Sorry, from 2003 to 14 uh, for his, over a span of 11 years. He presented a paper in World International Committees and few, uh, quote few and uh, I'll come to uh, conclude. I, I would like to conclude it. Professor Katamani has a member of many uh, boards of institutions like member, National Curriculum Framework, Minister of Education, Government of India, Member, National Education Policy, Ministry of HRD, Government of India, Member, Sahitya Academy, General Council, and Member, Standing Committee for Tribal Welfare, Ministry of Tribal Affairs, Government of India, and the Executive Council, uh, Central University of Punjab, Member, IIM Indore Society, and Member Board of Studies, School of Translation Studies, Ignova, New Delhi, and the Center of Indian Languages, Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. And the, uh, the most important one is, he is the member of High Power Committee for Content Display in New Parliament Building, popularly known as Central Vista. Professor Kachamani is the recipient of honorary Kaushal of Kevinpur University, Shimoga, and also awarded the Karnataka Rajotsava Award, the second highest civilian award in Karnataka for his remarkable contribution towards higher education. His latest achievements reflecting his overall body of work is being nominated as a member of the National Steering Committee formed by the Ministry of Education on 21-9-2021 for the purpose of National Curriculum Framework. Uh, in the history of uh, Dr. V.S. Krishna, Government Degree College. Such a great personality is here with us to deliver his talk on NEP 2020 towards inclusive higher education in America. So, dear all, let us welcome uh, Sir, Professor Matiwani, sir, with a big round of applause. I thank the President uh, uh, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Now, sir will give a brief message. He has a presentation and then we will come down. Uh, then we will make a presentation. Now, I request him to give this message. Thank you. President of the function, principal of this prestigious college, Professor I. Vijay Babu. Other dignitaries on the dais. And of the rest, my teachers and my students' friends. I congratulate you on this uh, eve to conduct a seminar on ADP 2020, which is a game changer in Amrutha. <laughs> I request my heartfelt thanks to Madam who introduced me. You know, it's, it's a, always it's, uh, I feel ashamed when somebody will uh, you know, speak good things about me in front of Thank you. His uh, good words definitely will inspire us to excel. Dr. Krishna was a Vice Chancellor and the UNUCC Chairman also. He is a great visionary. Andhra University has uh, produced wonderful brains of the globe. 
I congratulate you, students and teachers. You are part of this prestigious university. Uh, I mean, college. College is or educational institutions are the long shades of days get mistakes. While coming here, I saw the trees and immediately I, I said to a uh, nearer to me, it seems this college is more than 50 years old. The trunk of the tree says, and you have to believe, not me, not Prime Minister, not Sudhakar and you have to believe yourself that you are part of a in the gender institution. <laughs> Why you should believe that you are part of a legendary institution? Because this institution is your future. This institution is future of teachers. This institution is future of students. If something is wrong, Nobody may be able to do it. You have to do it properly. So, my message to you that we have to serve mother institution. Mother institution and mother, there is no difference. They are one and the same. They are one and the same. If we neglect mother, who is going to protect us? Who is going to inspire us? Who is going to make happy us? Nobody is there. Because only mother is there. Unconditional support is only from her. Mother institution has a inclusive happiness to make us happy and rich. You know, I, I served maybe three, four institutions. I, earlier I was in Karnataka College, Karnataka University College. Then I, I was shifted to Karnataka University, shifted to Hyderabad, Maulana Ajad University, shifted to Amarakanta, Madhya Pradesh, uh, Indira Gandhi National Tribal University, now serving here. I pray the God, my service must be last here. Because I have to serve myself. <coughs> I used to very funnily tell to people. People will you know, tell you, sir, you should become this, that, this, that. I, I will tell. I want to become more and more. But before that, I met everybody in the world, but not that. <laughs> I have to make myself. This is there in Indian philosophy and religion. Kwanapastasha. After 70 years also, in the two years I am going to 70 years, completion of 70 years. 70 years also, I, if I aspire for a government job and salary, no end. Nobody will be there to serve at you. So this is uh, my message, Vijay uh, Mahabharata. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Professor Sulakarati spoke to spoke about my book. I brought one book. I will give it to um, uh, principal sir after completion of my presentation. This is uh, LAP 2020, the game changer. Uh, the publisher became very rich of this because of this. He might have. Uh, sold uh, 20,000 books, copies of this book. Now it is coming in Hindi and many languages. Uh, Another one book, my book is translated into Telugu. Jengli Kulapati Antam Lady Porat. It is a languages now. It is coming in English, coming in uh, many tribal languages. 
I have to let us uh, introduce wonderfully, but uh, two three things I would like to introduce uh, myself. One thing is. One thing is, definitely I am from a tribal community, son of a uh, farming laborer, agricultural laborer. I studied first standard to completion of degree in my mother tongue, Canada. After Hindi as a major subject, there is a big story why I opted uh, Hindi. Context is not about telling myself, so I am not telling about that story. But I, I had a great faith in my myself. And somebody, people used to tell, you should become Kashilda, big post those days. Those days, I was a student lawyer, a student uh, leader, and I was moving the chief minister of my state. Once he called me after completion of degree, they were there as you might be knowing, and said, I will be appointing you as Tashinda. I said, No, sir. He said, Why? I said, Sir, I want to become a teacher. <laughs> he told me, Chase Kanda, you act. Decision made me wise. Students, then I asked the uh, honorable uh, principal how, how many students are there from tribal community. He said that more than 30 percent, more than 30 percent. You have to come up. How to come up? What is the way of uh, coming up? What will be the source of inspiration? That is only one thing that is education. If we would like to excel in the life, we should get quality education. Thanks to Modi ji, when a committee, national uh, committee was framed to make a uh, draft of NAP 2020, then I received a call from uh, the minister. I said, sir, should I believe that I am a member of this committee? Here in, in this book I wrote how this NEP drafting committee was uh, benefited by me, I don't know, but I personally benefited by the deliberation submitted. The way we consulted uh, the people, more than uh, 2 lakh people we have consulted, more than 1000 institutions were consulted, deliberated with them. How India beautiful it is. There is Telugu in Vishakhapatnam. Rajamandri, another Telugu is there. Rajat Sima, third Telugu is there. Srikakulam, fourth Telugu is there. So, this is the beauty of our Indian language. I am from Koppal, Old Nizam State. I write, even today I write and speak that my mother tongue only from my village. I can't speak Harvard or Kannada or Mysore Kannada. Uh, sir is speaking from the bottom of his heart. He says he has to meet himself. It's like knowing thyself. Uh, the sayings of the sages, and we can hear from his profound words in a practical way. You may occupy the prestigious positions, ultimately, one has to realize himself. What a profound thought, sir. Thank you so much. Really, you spoke from the bottom of your heart, and it is between the heart and heart. Thanks a lot. And I hope your words will inspire our students and we are also eagerly waiting for your presentation. And now we step up from the stage and you can make a presentation uh, from the hall 
and students will be witnessing the presentation as well. Yes, thank you. Thank you. At the end of the presentation, allow you to listen to me. At the end of the presentation, there will be a question and answer session. Question and answer session, be ready with your questions as well. You will be ready with your questions as well. I mean, that is on the Venali. If you have a little bit of 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 a little bit this is the era of Modi, Modi era. Once, once upon a time it was Gandhiji era, it was Nehru era, it, it was Indra Gandhi era, it was Raju Gandhi era, now it is Modi. Very seriously, by forming a committee on ADP 2020, government has taken a revolutionary step to change the academy. Why we need to change education? Why we need to change syllabus? Why we need to change teachers? Why we need to change? Thank you. Why we need to change research? Why we need to change the present life values? Anybody talks about that. Anybody talks about reforms, the bridging of the social category. What is that bridging? There is a difference between tribes and Dalits, tribes, Dalits, and upper caste that we have to bridge. How to bridge? Through quality education, identify in excess participation and learning outcomes. How to make the students enable to learn? What are the gaps? Is there any barriers of language? Is there any barriers of communication? Is there any barriers of <coughs> text, teachers? That we have to identify development of special educational zones, SC studies. You know, before that, Niti Ayoga has identified. Better, will you stop this samosa? Samosa serving can be done now. So that comfortably they can enjoy. So, Aspirational districts have been identified. Vishakpatnam rural is an aspirational district. Srikapuram is an aspirational district. Vijayanagaram is an aspirational district. What is that aspirational district? There are <laughs> columns where education, primary education, what is the outcome? Employment ratio, what is the outcome? Women's, women health, access to health, and even the quality of water, employability, the happiness index, all these matters. So, we are in a zone of aspirational, aspiration, aspirational districts, nothing but backward districts. So, Economically, our, our uh, place, Uttarandra, may be backward, but whatever, we have to talk about our own uh, uh, place, our own motherland. Whether we have culturally, we are very strong, literally, we are, whether we are very strong, people are in uh, active role of music, art, culture, you know, culinary art, making people happiness. These index also they <coughs> focus on socio economically dis dis disadvantaged groups. I need not tell poor people, about poor people also. 
SEDGs include SESDs, PVDGs, DNTs, NTs, and SNTs also. There's no much time to talk about all these people. Uh, you know, SEs, SDs, we know, PVTGs, we know, Savara, we know, <coughs> DNTs, denotified tribes. I am from earlier denotified tribes because before that my tribe was criminal tribes, you know, declared by uh, English people after uh, getting after 1947. Nehruji, you know, after four years, maybe around 49 or 50, they remembered, yes, some people are there still, they are declared as criminal tribes and they were denotified. That is called denotified. NTs, that is nomadic tribes or SNTs, that is seven nomadic tribes. You know, I contributed a lot in this area and I have given examples, I can give examples in my book. There are examples about what is NTs, what is SNTs, what is women, what is transgender. You know, earlier there were only two columns in our all forms. All uh, filling up forms that women and uh, men now, thanks to the government, we have included another name of uh, third gender. Third gender, most exclusive community, they have been into uh, you know inclusive zone also now. Preservation and assimilation of tribal knowledge in the curriculum framework. Tribal knowledge, what is that? I, I will tell you sometime in between. <coughs> Multilingual education and instruction in mother tongue also. Multilingual education is uh, very good, very good, most important because you know, if we give our education to our children from unknown language, any foreign language, foreign language, you know, for me, mother tongue, Marathi is a foreign language for me. For a Marathi uh, boy or girl, Gondi is a tribal language, uh, you know, foreign language for them. Gondi tribe children. For them, Hindi is a, a tribal language, you know, foreign language for them. They are all connected. We live between uh, uh, Telugu area only, Telugu linguistic area only. But there are zones that they speak their own mother tongue. They speak uh, their own mother tongue. For example, Savara, Jatav, they have their own mother tongue. They, they love to speak, they love, love to learn, they love to deliberate. In, in their own mother tongue. <coughs> Multilingual education is why important because we have many states, many linguistic boundaries, but we have one language, common language, that may be Hindi, that may be English. I am not talking about Hindi is great or English is great or Telugu is small. No, every, every language is a national language. Telugu is a national language. Oh, no, you know, English is a national language, Hindi is a national language, and we know our own linguistic borders. But in education, we need more than one language. If we are studying in Telugu media, we need to know English also, we need to know uh, Hindi also, we need to know Kuya also. Why we, we need to know? Because we have to make business. We have to, you know, uh, I visited many tribal uh, districts of Odisha state. There, you go everywhere, Telugu people are. In colleges, Telugu teachers are there. In high schools, Telugu teachers are there. In the market, you know, sellers and buyers are Telugu people. And in, in my uh, uh, city, Vijayanagara, we can we can find anywhere Odia uh, people. So we are internally connected. We need to know more languages. Knowing more languages, it is more beneficial because you may be uh, pursuing physics here, chemistry here, or English here, or Hindi here, or Telugu here. But you, you we don't we don't know where I will get job. You may get job in Himalaya, you may get, get job in Pashibanga, you may get job in somewhere to teach Telugu, to teach some other physics, chemistry, mathematics or social science. Then English will come to help you, come to our risk, Hindi will come to our risk. So multilingual education is necessary at least in the primary level, 1 to 7, 1 to 7. <coughs>
universal access to quality education to all children. It's so simple. Quality education to all. Quality education to only learned people is not necessary. Rich people is not necessary. Higher cost people is not necessary. Quality education to everybody. Quality education, you know, no reservation between, you know, in quality education. Quality education, what is that quality education? We all know quality education is what the, our uh, director was talking about, that is thinking capacity. That the quality education should inspire us to think further. <coughs> Textbooks based on tribal languages. Multiple mode of education with multiple entries and exit options. Tribal languages textbooks, you know, uh, thanks to uh, Andhra government, Andhra chief minister, uh, Andhra uh, state of Andhra Pradesh is much ahead of tribal education. Odisha is also very good, doing extremely good through <coughs> ITDA, POs, government of Andhra Pradesh is doing extremely good job in tribal education, preparing uh, tribal text in tribal languages, even pictures, even storytelling arts and with skill education, uh, our, our state is doing extremely well. Multiple mode of education with multiple entry and exit. Multi, multiple entry and exit is another wonderful uh, you know, space for education in the NAP 2020. You know, for example, while studying a PUC for plus two, I left um, college because of poverty. Afterwards, I, I, I worked hard to enter into education again. Now, after implementation NAP, it is part of game now. It is part of law. Anybody can join here. After one semester, the she can, the girl can join the same course, same class in Vijayanagaram also. After completion of first year, she can go to Srikakulam also. After second year, she can go to even Anandpuram also. Options are open and you know our credit, our credits will follow in a digi, uh, digital alcohol. There will be no problem. Uh, we should not, uh, we should carry always certificate, it is not necessary now. In digital affair, everything is available. <coughs> Major challenges of tribal education, it is uh, remoteness of habitations because of very remote place. You know, every day you can read. Tribal, some tribal village people, they have walked for strike for drinking water. Another tribal village people, they, they are fighting with the government because there is no road access. There is no water body, there is no there, in between there is Nala, there is a small river, there is a uh, uh, flowing water, they can't travel, their children can't go to school, they are, they are uh, uh, you know, suffering, they can't go to a hospital. Every day, you are ready, I, I have plenty of paper cuttings, these paper cuttings I am collecting, collecting to put in a form before the government of India, how? Uh, disadvantaged groups of this India, our land, how we are facing uh, uh, facing difficulties to get even a simple drinking water. <coughs> Lack of travel facilities, insufficient infrastructure facilities, illiteracy of parents and illiteracy of parents I would like to tell. You know, wherever you go, go for admission first year um, in the primary education, pre-primary education or high school or college, we, we, we teachers used to tell, bring your parents, stay available, not butter. Bread and, but, bread and butter is English for English phrase. Or, yes, roti and top. Roti and kopu. That's it. So, we need, we have to, we have to redesign our education. What is the role of parents in education? In, in our family, tribal people, all father, father, always drunker. Right? Any tribals are there here? I am here one. They are afraid of or I don't know. 
You must tell, you know, you must tell openly who you pray. That's the right. Ah, you know, jokingly I used to tell, people used to tell me, you are so great man, uh, professor, scotch is there, you can drink. I, I used to say, no, I won't drink. They will ask why. Because my father consumed my quota. <laughs> <laughs> father and mother arms. Father and mother arms. Mother and father arms. Is it possible? It is possible. Yes, I have seen such a teacher, so I became little. 1 to 7, I have never gone to school. I was taking care of my family members. But, but, there was a young teacher in our village. He hired me to fetch water for his home, clean his vessels and home, and spend Spending time was a very difficult task for him. He started teaching me and I became, I passed the seventh step. You know, I, I, I tell, you know, many such stories are there within you also. Life is mysterious than mysteries. Yeah. Devlo Chaser became Vice Chancellor twice in this country. So, I request you all, including the policy makers, what is the role of parents in education? It has to be divided. Educated parents, half educated parents, educated parents, but do they have time to spend their children with their children? Because father, mother, both are working. Children are eating. What they are eating? When mother and father both are working outside, children will come from school, come, come from college, come from playground. playground. What they eat? <laughs> noodles. Noodles. Ready-made noodles. Ready-made noodles. After five years, Diarrhea. After five years, another many more. But in poor communities, this problem is not. I am not against anybody. I am for spending quality time with the children. Of course, I am also culprit. I have never spent my quality time with my family. So, Lack of, of literacy of parents has to be think over. You are all good teachers, good students. Work on this on this area. How we can make a bridge between teachers and students? Parents maybe may not. Parents maybe or may not. And or they may be supportive or may not be supportive. Parents, usually in the villages, in rural areas, in uh, tribal areas, you know, after completion of my seventh standard, my, my father said, no, from tomorrow, you have to go to a county shop, you know, they are also counting. You make pudia and you have to serve. He agreed to give you 50 rupees yearly. Salary was 50 rupees. It was a great attraction for me, for my father. That night I left home, ran away, joined the CST hostel, I became voice. <laughs> but whoever will run from their home, they are not so lucky like me or like Dr. Buddha. <laughs> Lack of teachers. It, it, uh, fortunately, there is no problem of the government of uh, Andhra Pradesh. It is, it is there in Karnataka, it is there in Odisha, it is there in Chhattisgarh, it is there in uh, Madhya Pradesh, Central India especially. Uh, lack of appropriate pedagogy. What is that pedagogy? It is teaching methodology. 
reaching the student's methodology. What is that methodology? According to me, pedagogy is purely individual. Teacher to teacher, it is different. A teacher has to devise her own pedagogy. How to reach students? You know, I, I, I have experienced some best teachers teaching poetry through dance. I have seen one teacher who was who is successful mathematics, mathematics teacher in Karnataka. Fortunately, he is from my village. I saw in uh, YouTube. Then I visited whenever I was there in my village. I visited and uh, I supported his uh, science instrumentation center through my uh, engine. <clears throat> that such the mathematics, mathematics teacher is very much successful. How he believed he has believed that my students are good in mathematics. He doesn't know anything, but he believed that they are good in mathematics, and I have to make them success. And he successful. A small interior village, Halwagalo, where he taught three years. You know, they uh, out of uh, that three years students, maybe seven ten joined uh, engineering, one joined medical. Out of the small village, most backward village. So. The success rate of education not depends upon infrastructure, not depends upon high five accessibility. It is the quality of teacher, involvement of teachers, involvement of teachers to believe that our students are extremely good. They are here to excel. That's enough. That is pedagogy. Lack of real life application of knowledge, real life lack, lack of real life application of knowledge. You know, in uh, maybe one year before, uh, our PM has called uh, all centrally funded institutions, vice chancellors, directors, signed uh, head of the institutions in in Banaras. It is called as Kashi Educational Conclave. They <coughs> his lecture was. Lab to land and land to lab. I wrote one big article in English about land, land to lab and lab to land. What is that land to lab and lab to land? See, yours is a research institute, PG institute. It has been recognized as a research center. What should be the research? The research must be how to manage garbage of Vishakhapatnam city. How to recycle waste water? It is called real life application of knowledge. Even we have, uh, I mean, uh, Vishakhapatnam, Vijayanagaram, Srikakulam are surrounded by 300 plus chemical industries, labs. So, we have to take benefit of these infrastructure who, who are naturally available to our students as well as uh, Mr. Scholars, so my our uh, professor of chemistry is we, 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 we try to bridge academia and industry together. We have to, we are ready to make syllabus according to the Fancy of uh, the industries because industry needs particular medicine, but medicine for particular ailment. For example, sickle cell anemia. You may be knowing thalassemia. You may be knowing these are the uh, you know, most dangerous ailments of our tribal communities and women of many communities. You know, since six years, I'm fighting with the government of India that a big project should be. Money should be reserved for the thanks to government of India this time. 16,000 crore worth budget has been given to this government. Uh, and we will be happy to know how the university we have, we have taken a big project for thalassemia and uh, uh, sickle cell anemia. And our uh, researchers, our scientists are working in body work as well as uh, uh, 
this is how now i can give plenty of examples how we can research on for example i would like to tell you don't don't take other wife for women women hygienicity is more important our women are suffering because of very small comforts for their hygienicity of my mother of my wife of my sister of my children of my grandchildren we need hygienic pad very cheap pad it should be available for peanut rate but it is a luxury now so we can research on our scientists can research on how it can be pad can be made very pro throw away price and not only throw away price how to make it freely and as well as how it after use how it can be filled in the land without any hesitation or without any problem you know the gobology which i am fond of talking there must be a sign should come up in our country that should be called as garbalas garbage science garbage science there is lot of lot of opportunities in garbage science garbage we have to make syllabus we have to make syllabus and we have to make courses and we have to make textbooks who has to make textbooks we have to make textbooks because we are the garbage makers you know we are the creators of garbage not poor people rich people middle class people we make garbage and and our municipal corporation will dump it in water bodies that water again will be supplied for us to drink city garbage cycling we can we can work on for companies non recognition of tribal knowledge i i what to do i should not talk about this not only tribal knowledge yeri knowledge system of india never considered as knowledge i will give you a small example which is everybody knows we have four children in our home my mother never see the face of school i am talking about your mother also four children and our mother poor lady prepares food for four of us i am i am not comfortable with milk you know milk you know another is not comfortable with masala another one is not comfortable with the uh, curd rice another one is not comfortable with the simple food very spicy food he needs by making a simple food she satisfied four of us how very culinary art right that is art of making food seasonally the same food will be changed by her our mother how she can make adding some species lessening some species she prepares but our knowledge system whether it is ready to accept this mother mother of you and me yes culinary art expert uh, i am asking you no no <laughs> so you and me should accept knowledge system means i am talking to you i am trying to reach your heart and head and hands it's ganesh's work in 1930 he spoke about nai tali and he said education means ye ye process work process from heart head and hands now education what is that education 
It is only head, not heart also. Hands, no. Hands should not be dirty. Hands should be very clean and very polished. But who has to serve you? Somebody should serve me. What about you? I am here to make decision to serve me. This is not Indian knowledge system. Indian knowledge system is work is worship. Work is worship is Indian knowledge system. So we need to know <laughs> every father, every student, they have their own knowledge system in their DNA. In their DNA. What is the role of teacher here? We have to recognize their DNA. For skill education, I, I believe, for skill education, you have to believe that everybody knows one or the other skills. I know 10 skills. I can work as a you know, coolie. I can work as a driver. I can, I can clean my laboratories. I can drive my vehicle. I can clean my vehicle. I can make my puncture. I can make my food. I can clothe my, you know, clean my clothes, iron my clothes. I can lecture. I, I can hear your lecture. These are the skills, right? Listening is a biggest skill. In fact, India is always in a preaching mode. We are all in a preaching mode. But once upon a time, India was a patient listening culture. Panchatantra always teaches. How many students you know Panchatantra, right? Students. Great. Better show your face. Who raised her hand? Great, you know, brave girl. She read Panchatantra. It is available in Telugu also. You, 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 today you must go to market, purchase and read. Please stop. Sit down. You, you must read Panchatantra. Then only you will come to know what is wisdom. What is education? What is good and what is bad? The status of tribal education and the promises of NEP 2020. Here, uh, you know, it is available with principal Sam. I will just know. The tribal education is below that uh, Indian average education. Out of men and women, tribal women education is below that men education. Promoting tribes and other SDGs, strengthening Ekalavya model residential schools for tribals. This is the, the budget allocation which I, I have taken. I, these things I have written extensively in English newspapers, already published in many articles. Promoting tribes and other SDGs, enhancing education through mother tongue and in tribal languages, appointment of multilingual medium educators, regional and tribal languages for educational inclusion of tribal and SDGs in STEM education. I would like to uh, take some time here. What is that STEM education? Science, engineering, you know, uh, technological, uh, engineering and mathematics education. Why our women are weak? I am not talking about the tribes now, SCs now, Muslims now. The whole Muslim women community, why they are much behind national average in STEM education? Why they are much behind of science, research and education? Would like to tell something, somebody will tell something about why our women are much behind the STEM education? No, no, no worry. I, I would like to tell something here because Our society, Indian society, never thought of women can become a game changer. What is the role of education in a young woman? She, to prepare her for marriage, right? To prepare her for marriage, that's it. 
Who has made this? Our whole society thought of girl child has born. We have to prepare her for her marriage to somebody's family, good family. But education talks about the role of women in science, the role of women in uh, you know in technical education, in mathematics education, in science education. You know, I have a survey in that book that there must be one example that in for example in BSc there will be more than Half girl students will be there in first year case. More than 60% will be girls. Okay. In MSc, there will be again 50% girls will be there in MSc. But in PhD, there will be 40% girls will be there in PhD. After post PhD, in research, there will be only 33% girls. Where they have gone another 30%. That society has to research. They have gone for domestic purpose. They married, they brought children. Our helplessness because of money, because of poverty, because of religious constraints, because of health constraints, because of obvious reasons which you and me don't know. So, NEP talks about these women who have a great power excel into science education, technical education, research education and at the same time <clears throat> tribes also, they are doing extremely good in science, especially in ethnobotany. What the students are here? Yes, yes, yes. You know, Ethnobotany is a special body. We try, we need not to learn ethnobotany, we will be able, quickly we will be able to teach ethnobotany because, because we live in ethnobotical environment. Tribes and tigers never fight each other. Elephants and tribes never fight each other. Cheetahs and tribes never fight each other because they know each other's language and communication. If you are, maybe, I may be God tribe, but I am a plain tribe now. <clears throat> if I see a snake, I will run, run, run away. If I see a cheetah, I will be after all. But tribe, you know who lives in uh, forest, they are not afraid of. They know how to, how to go away. I have hundreds of stories. My book is coming on Tales of Life, where uh, I put in such stories. One story I will tell in uh, Madhya Pradesh, border of Gujarat, one lady, <coughs> poor lady, has one goat, tribal lady. One evening, fine evening, a big tiger came and uh, taken her home. Her husband was, you know, sitting there, he could not do. She came with a pot of water. She saw and she took her husband. Chalo, we shall go and chase the tiger and uh, we shall bring uh, the goat again. And with her long eyes, she started cracking, abusing the tiger and she followed, chased the tiger kilometers together along with her yelling husband. Finally, the tiger, because of his, uh, her wife, left the boat and ran. And it was al almost dead. She brought the boat, cleaned it and, you know, Make it mutton and sold it to everybody. This story I wrote in my mother tongue Canada in you know Diwali uh, special issue of Canada. 
Many people asked me, Katimini, you have such many stories, you must write. I said after 70 years, I will write. <laughs> this is this is step education. I would like to, uh, Principal Sir, seriously, we can make a seminar on step education. We can make a seminar on step education. How we can we can work on difference. I look at educational development, financial sector, inclusive sector, reaching the last mile, infrastructure and investment, unleashing the potential, green growth, youth power and financial sector. Center has decided to include about 49,000 crore for the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana in rural areas. We can see you know, cement uh, houses in Padero, Sitapalli or Sita Peta for all people. We, we can say without uh, verifying, we can say this is certain person. Otherwise, they will they poor people will be there in their huts. <coughs> Dean Dayal Upadhan uh, Antyodaya Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission Day N R L M. Launched a national campaign, Sangatan Se Samvanti, leaving two rural women behind. No, leaving no rural women behind. Aims to mobilize women into self help groups. Leaving no rural women behind. It is, again, what is that? Our women, especially poor women, spend their whole time for collection of water, collection of firewood. If our policies will solve the chulha problem, gas problem, making uh, portable water available nearby our hamlet, so their extra time, extra time will be used for production and reproduction. <coughs> Under the aegis of Ajadika Amrut Mohansav, Samaveshi Vikas Self-Help Groups, more than 1.1 lakh SFGs will be part of. Mission Shakti, Nari Suraksha, Nari Sama, Nari Swavalamban. I, I believe, according to my education and my grasping power, these are these things comes into recommendations of any <coughs> NEP 2020 believes in integrated development of human being. Integrated development of education. What is that integrated? A person who has completed MS, MA in English can work in physics department. Physics MSc graduate can work in chemistry lab. Chemistry BSc graduate can work in Sanitation ward. A nurse can work it, work as maid servant. Maid servant can work as cook. Cook can work as driver. This is integrated development. In, in fact, rural people from the whole of India, we are all integrated, educated people. You know. We, I will, especially I am happy to work at any condition everywhere. Somebody once, when I was in Amarakanta, asked me, Do you interested to become Vice Chancellor in Delhi? I said, No. Why? They said, Why? I said, There is a reason. Because make me Vice Chancellor in a remote village, remote corner, I will be happily served to people. Because I am not afraid of tigers in uh, Padayaru jungle. I am afraid of bad weather in death. Uh -huh. And what I am talking about me, it is the story of two people. Swachya hi seva. Trying to understand. The Prime Minister is talking about sweeping. The Prime Minister is talking about, the whole central government is talking about segregation of domestic waste. 
ये प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज टॉकिंग अबाउट एनईपी 2020 इट मींस ए फोकस ग्रुप हैज बीन क्रिएटेड ये फोर्स हैज बीन क्रिएटेड बिहाइंड द हाईएस्ट चेयर इन द लैंड दैट यस वी नीड स्वच्छता वी नीड क्लीनलीनेस वी नीड गार्बेज फ्री India. We need segregation of garbage. We need clean water. Our water bodies should be clean. Our RK beach should be clean. You no, know, not only in RK beach. In the airport, you can go and sit and see. We pay ten thousand, fifty thousand to go to Delhi from Bihar, but we don't know where to put our biscuit cover. After eating biscuits, after drinking water, I feel so so bad. And sometimes, wherever possible, I will take it and put it in uh, uh, the dustbin, the proper dustbin, not only dustbin, proper dustbin. This is integrated education. I am a vice chancellor. I am a professor. You are all professor. We have to look into our old age parents. Is it not part of education? Yes. We have to kind enough towards our maid servant. Is it is it not part of our education? We should be kind enough towards our poor student. If she is not able to pay the fees, we should not tell her not to sit in uh, your debar from sitting the uh, fee, uh, you know, examination. We we tell teachers can collect hundred hundred and pay thousand rupees or uh, request the principal extend the date she will be able to uh, do that. This is education. I am not telling this is my education. This is Bharat ka education. <laughs> Very processing in India that I already spoke. Street vendors out of their colony team. A total of 13,403 vending zones have been identified so far. Street vendor, uh, you know, street uh, vendors. Everywhere you can see they sell. Yes. They sell small thing. They earn hundred rupees a day, not thousand rupees, not four thousand rupees, not five thousand rupees, but. Our our habit is we we will be ready to bargain with that vendor also. Education will teach us don't bargain with poor people, but we are unable to bargain with the uh, uh, big marks. It's not possible to bargain in marks. It's not possible to bargain with marks. In in in, in marks, we are not only the customer. There are thousands of people, but for a small vendor, we are the single customer. So, government has 42 lakh street vendors are to be provided benefits under uh, PM Swanidhi by December 24. <coughs> Sugam Bharat Abhiyan, accessible India for Divyan 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 Ganas. What is that Divyagana? We know much earlier there was no much awareness about uh, you know um, these people who are not able to walk, who are near, not able to sit, who are not able to see, who are not able to talk, who are not able to hear, who are slow learners. Everything is okay, but they are slow learners. I am one among them. I am a slow learner. Do you believe I mean I was a slow learner? We can't see. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> But identification the of the ailment that I am suffering of something definitely will come. Definitely will come. <clears throat> Gramina Udemi project under National Skill Development Corporation implemented in six states. Maharashtra, Rajasthan, like that. Other initiatives of Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana. I request you, our teachers and students, we have to focus on skill, Kaushal. We must be 
able to work one or the other because I would like to tell you all, please go to website, go to Google, Google World Economic Forum. Your World Economic Forum will update about job opportunities tomorrow. Which jobs are going to vanish? Which jobs will come up? Accordingly, we teachers have to make syllabus, make two syllabus textbooks and update ourselves. Update ourselves. If you ask the principal, sir, we need to start on uh, uh, still education, give some course. No, it's not possible. We have to learn. We have to learn and teach. Teachers, according to NAP, teachers are should be lifelong learners. How we can become lifelong learners? See, learning, <laughs> unlearning, and relearn. Learning. We have to learn. We have to unlearn who which are not useful. Unlearn, that is unlearn. Relearn, learn, unlearn and relearn. Re Unlearn courses, you know, I was a Hindi student, but I learned tribal studies, I learned tribal music. No, started about tribal health, talking about their, their psychology, talking, uh, talking about reading about their skills. Yet, you know, monthly I read at least two books on uh, tribes. Why? To update myself. Otherwise, I will be outdated in front of you young people. <clears throat> update ourselves so that we will be easily update ourselves. Why darling, as readers, digital empowerment of tribal youth and women through the concept of mentor and mentee. Some days before I I, 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 I read one news, I was so happy. Board, winter board out of the You can work on this. Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana for MSMEs. Mudra has created three products. Shishu Kishore Tarun. Shishu covering loans of 50,000. Kishore like that. 32.53 crore loans has been sanctioned. Loans have been given to SCPGs right on the side. Yes, poor people, SCSTs, women and transgenders have been given. We have to create a society of literacy. Society of literacy I am talking about. About these schemes to take benefit of this, this thing. Anemia Mukta Bharat. Anemia, I need not to talk. You know, uh, maybe one week before I, I read, 37% of Indian women are anemic. <coughs> Children, women, children, no children, why they are anemic? There is a, a reason, there is a scientific reason, there is an economic reason, there is a religious reason, there is a, uh, you know, uh, journal reason, journal reason that we have to come out by our study. I think uh, I am going to complete with these two words. Uh, I conclude here. One, one thing I would like to tell about you all. I have taken much time, many things in a single window I try to put, but one thing I would like to tell you, everybody from every caste, we must read, sir, tell me, we must read Ambedkar series, you will come to know if you read Ambedkar seriously, slowly, between the lines, between the words, we will come to know for every problem, there is solution within me. For every problem, there is solution within me, that is will. So, I Pray the Almighty, I am a great believer of God Almighty to give you confidence to upgrade yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
behind, I will go there and ask her, my dear, how are you? What is your name? That you are a wonderful girl. You are here. You are born to make wonders. She will create wonders. Yes. I am talking. These words are from America. He, he wrote and he said, Every individual born to excel. Every individual born to excel. But many individuals inspire. I have to inspire you. You are from chemistry. <laughs> mathematics is a wonderful subject, you know. Without the mathematics, computer will not run. Logarithm will not run. Artificial intelligence will not run. Mind will not run. Water will not run. Right? This is written by Panini. You know Panini? You must read Panini at least in translation. He was a great mathematician of our own earth. So, a teacher, a societal leader, if he or she respect the child, yes, you are a good girl. You are daughter of Booth, you are daughter of that beggar who is begging in front of Mandir. That's great. He's a, he's a very good man. Beta, you are like my children. You are my daughter. You are like my daughter. Whenever there will be a problem, come to me. She never re reach me. But she will solve her own problem. She will come. This education we need. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Sundana Shea, second year BA HEB. I want to ask you a question, sir. Sir, what is the role of women in shaping India's future? Sir. Only women can shape Indian future. Stand in front of liquor shop. <laughs> they will be a very big disciplined cube. Right? <laughs> You will find a single woman in the cook It means Indian women are going to not going to die. We are preparing ourselves to die. <laughs> right? Go to any government school. See a class in seven standard. Out of 100, 70 will be girls who are very seriously working. 30 will be boys, always making noise. <laughs> right? Right? Go to any household. See their family, father sitting in the bus stand, mother preparing roti. Right? Who is making India? <laughs> A good heart. To promote? Digital education. 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 Okay, right, right, right. We have to uh, enact it. India, uh, I have been telling many stories, but it is online. It is live. Even though I will tell you, beyond the election, nation is there. Right? Beyond parties, election, nation is there. This everybody should understand in our plan. Infrastructures of digital, the best schools, best not only best schools, the best washrooms in schools. In my village, I regularly once in a year go. I, I will uh, donate some. I, I will give my part of this thing. Last year, I had been there with my children and wife. My my younger son, younger brother is there. I visited the schools, school, high school and the college also, now government college is also there. Classrooms are good, library is good. There is no washroom or very worst washroom. So, I donated my savings to build washrooms to every school. You can also make this. You can also make this. You know, you, we can donate. So, 10,000 rupees to build a washroom in a school, in a college, in, in a pre-primary school. 
by doing so, by doing so, it is not charity what I am talking. It is payback to society. It is payback to society. I agree with you. We are poor at info, uh, you know, um, digital infrastructure. We have to consult and we have to talk. Thank you. Sir, my question is, how will the IEP 2020 give quality education by using digital technology? Sir, why I am uh, why because I am asking this question is there is a lack of internet internet facilities in rural area. How will we achieve this uh, by using uh, continuous uh, unification policy? I would like to ask you another question. You will eat mirchi in the uh, in market. Yes, sir. Then you create your own Wi-Fi facility. Can you work? How? Right. See. Wi-Fi is, you know, you purchase a good selfie or phone, right? <laughs> Smart phone. But who you expect Wi-Fi connection from Jagan Baba? <laughs> it, no, it means you are afford, you are affordable to have a smartphone. Another 20 rupees you are not ready to purchase. Because Wi-Fi is easily available in the market. You purchase a, you know, some, some machine to put your device and create your own Wi-Fi. In fact, G4 is available in many uh, phone companies. We have to access, we have to access so easily without any device, extra device, spending anything, we can make that. And try to understand young people especially, don't rely upon freebies. <laughs> Don't rely upon freebies. One or the other day, if they will be stopped, then what you will do? Right? It, this is help help. Thank you. My name is Niti from PG Biotechnology. PG Biotechnology. My question is, our student has set up a single major system for this academic year, sir. How can this help the future generation in what way? Once again, ask your question. Our state has adopted single major system for this academic year. How can this help the future generation in what way? Yes, that's right. Thank you. Wonderful question. Report. My dear biotechnology is an umbrella. <laughs> what what focus? You would like to do some medicine? Medi mechanical, medicinal research, chemical research, and you know, cloth research, and rayon research. What research you would like to do? Medical research. Then I would like to tell you once you complete your uh, BSc or MSc, don't go immediately for PhD. Go to a lab at what? You will come to know what is the process of chemical labs, how these ready labs, other labs are working. What is what are their expectations from your MSc biotechnology? You are MSc biotechnology and making uh, medicines are totally different. They are not not at all connected. Try to connect that. Work in labs for two years, four years. Then you will come to know whether I should go for PhD or PhD is not necessary. You can make. Uh, uh, you are a home feature. It is not only she, pretty. It is, this is for everybody. Your fundamental question, single window facility always facilitate the mom. Help the people wandering from one window to one window. So it is a, it may be, it may not be effective, but one or the other day, it is going to more effect. Congratulations. Thank you. I am Patel, the Madhu Pradesh sir. Actually, in NEP 2020, actually facing challenge across the India. Where where is that uh, NEP 2020 is uh, absorbing the number of schools in rural villages. That is the reason they actually making the problems. Uh, please give us school back. So, can we talk about this? In rural area has come out. Once implemented properly, it, it, there will be no problem. In nutshell, I would like to tell you all, what is NEP, NEP 1320? It's very simple. 
NEP 2020 is nothing but out of box thinking. That's it. What, sir? Anybody? Uh, how for the being backed up in research? So what NEP does uh, to change that gender role in us society? Because uh, um, many women, even after getting a job, they are not able to do research because of they have to manage at home and as well as at the uh, you know at the job. Because uh, in the gender role, what uh, so women are being seen as women are great because they manage both. But uh, the women know that how hard it is to manage both at home and job. Uh, men uh, generally steps back at the uh, home, uh, work at home. Madam, I, I understood. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so please address that, sir. How my, my, my suggestion, very sincere suggestion is that is rice samba. Then only, then only, gents will become. Perfect person. This, this, I complete. Allow me to complete. This, I, our family, we have, we are practicing. I have two boys. One is Ravi. He is making his own chapati roti and washing his dishes. Another is, is doing law. Whenever his mother will come here, he will prepare his own food and he is making this. We know. The idea of society, Indian idea of society, boy is gold, girl is silver. Do we agree with this or not? So, so it, he, is, he is telling, it is difference between gold, diamond and gold, not silver. So, the way of thinking, Towards girls should be changed. It's, it's it's slowly going. It's slowly going. You know, I have I, I, I have seen many families. Even my students, women, girl students are telling. Her brother has gone has been sent to English medium school. She has been sent to Canada school, government school. This differentiation has to be cleared by. You and me, he and she, father and mother, nani and dadi. Then only it will be solved. But but once we get education, once women will become empowered by economically, economically, she is capable to eradicate the imbalance. Thank you. My name is Miss Vidanta from Bcom second year. There is a lack of uh, knowledge about skill development courses. What can we suggest about this? Uh, if there is no uh, awareness in courses, do you read, read English papers? Yes, sir. Which paper you are reading? Hindu. Hindu. Hindu, you know, since beginning, uh, maybe 1980, I am a regular reader of Hindu. If you read Hindu, if you read any Telugu, uh, English, any paper, there will be weekly one skill related, education related, uh, one small con. You read that, go to websites, many websites are there. One website I quoted that is World Economic Forum. There, there you will come to know, there you will come to know, translation is a big industry. Interpretation is a big industry. Content writing is a big industry. Proofreading is a big industry. Editing is a big industry. Social media handling is a big industry. These are the new job opportunities, my dear. We have to see accordingly. We have to convert our heart and head and hands to enable them to end cash them. Thank you. <laughs> Are so high, and his enthusiasm is also so high as he interacts with you. Uh, uh, shall we give a standing ovation to Sir? He deserves it. Please. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you. That's the real intellectual twist to our. Thank you a lot. Thank you.
He's standing in our midst, a gigantic intellectual person, Professor T.V. Katamani, with a good heart, I better say. There are many intellectuals, but most of the intellectuals, they are disconnected with the society. But here is a man who is part of the society, and I better say, he is son of the soil. Because all the time he is employed back to the society. And I hope definitely we need to emulate his path as teachers and also students. You can take a cue from his life and also his career. All the time he's saying that I became a vice chancellor, I became a vice chancellor. And he's referring back to his roots and also his uh, heights. So that is how we have to live in our lives. Think back and look back to your roots and look at the sky. Sky is the limit. You can go to the topmost height in your lives. And so we have to get inspired by his speech and also by his life. And at the beginning of his message, he has said that, meet uh, Professor Kataman. That's a wonderful saying. Thank you. Up to you, sir. Please come. Uh, just before we shall state uh, both uh, persons here, and it is like this. First, we shall honor Professor T. V. Katmanigar, the Vice Chancellor of Central Tiger University of Andhra Pradesh. He is very busy as we know, but still, despite his busy schedule, he could take off his time and come to our college and interact with the students. A Vice Chancellor interacting with UG students. See, the way he comes down to the level of students and also clarifying their simple doubts, that shows his concern towards the next generation, not the students. He is looking at a generation. And so, uh, sir, if possible, we see that you visit this institution once again. And maybe I hope I arrange one open meeting. This hall is so small to accommodate more number of students. In days to come, I want to have one open meeting in which there will be a huge number of students. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, shall we just take the Professor T. Katmani, I request the Sudhakar Rediya to join us in first stage again. Region uh, of uh, uh, Indian Council of uh, uh, Social Science Research is so busy, and he took up his time. He came to Vizag. He flew from Hyderabad to Vizag this morning, and now he's part of his program. So thank you so much, and it shows your concern towards government institutions. And I hope in days to come, the friendly will go along with you. Thank you. I request the Professor T. Kapanji as a honor him with a shower and first aid kit.
Before we close, I request our faculty members to give their feedback on the program and also on the deliberations of the program. May I request uh, uh, Dr. G. Arun Kumar, lecturer in commerce of our college, to give a brief feedback on the program. A uh, very brief. First of all, uh, I am blessed to uh, give a feedback for today's event. Uh, the Vice Chancellor, Professor T. V. Fatimani, sir. From Central Family University. So, we are really fortunate to listen to your words. So, I have seen so many vice chancellors, but first time, uh, I think, uh, no, sir. So, it's the first time I've seen such a uh, vice chancellor, down to a person who have uh, explained us very clearly regarding what is NEP. Even I had a lot of confusion in the faculty. So, whether we are going to implement this NEP properly, but after listening to your words of motivation, the thought provoking messages. Uh, I think, uh, so you spoke about the uh, multilingual uh, languages, which are I mean, books to be written. And again, sir, from our college, we have written for uh, AXI books also in both English and Telugu. So, the government of Andhra Pradesh is doing good. For the sake of students, we have written, in, uh, we have written both in Telugu and English medium, so very good. And again, you spoke about uh, the uh, integrated. Uh, skills which are required for the today's generation and I love that uh, lastly you spoke about out of box thinking. Yes sir, today uh, my dear students, so any problem can be solved only if you think out of box, right? So if you learn the global skills, the 21st century skills, then only we can uh, come up in life. You see such a person from a rural, uh, a tribal area Becoming a vice chancellor is because of his uh, hard work, motivation, and dedication. And sir, I, I think we are once again very fortunate to have you today. And uh, since principals have requested me or all of a sudden to give a feedback, so words are not enough to express my gratitude towards you are uh, such a wonderful speech, sir. On behalf of Dr. V.S. Krishna College, our principal, sir, our students, our faculty, once again, uh, we, uh, we are very thankful to you, sir. For dedicating your precious time for us. Thank you very much, sir. Now, there are many faculty members who want to give their feedback, but I limit the number. May I request um, Dr. V. Dr. Bhatigar, a uh, lecturer in zoology from uh, GDC Chodawara. Earlier, she used to be our faculty member, uh, but she got transferred recently, sir. What a very good feedback. The difficulties are there. And dear colleagues of the years and my dear students, good afternoon to all. And, and uh, today is uh, a talk on uh, NEP 2020 towards inclusive higher education under the Amritika. Such a uh, God given opportunity to me to attend this talk. And uh, uh, we are all blessed, not only me. And I'm Dr. Bharti from Government uh, College Chodhavar, which is in the rural area, sir. And there are many. Yes, such a lot Yes, no, not tribal, rural, but near to tribal, far away. So, but our uh, students, uh, they are mostly from the tribals. Yeah, yes, sir. And uh, this particular uh, uh, talk helped me a lot to learn many things, sir. And as you emphasized uh, about the socio-economically disadvantaged groups, and this uh, really uh, uh, thought provoking and uh, it awakened me a lot. And thank you very much, sir, and for uh, giving us this opportunity. And we are all blessed today to have your lecture and such a wonderful uh, session on various uh, programs given by central government. And thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Uh, one more feedback from uh, uh, Dr. Sodha, lecturer in Hindi from Visakha uh, Government Degree College for Women. Yeah, yeah. Amrita Vimarsh, 
विकसित भारत दो हजार सैतालीस इस विषय में जो आज का यह प्रोग्राम हुआ है इसमें प्रोफेसर कटिमणि जी प्रसिद्ध है सर सर इंग्लिश फील्ड है ना जो नॉर्थ ईस्ट स्पीकिंग स्टेट के हिंदी प्रोफेसर यहाँ पे जो नॉन हिंदी स्पीकिंग स्टेट से इतने उन्नत स्टेज पर जो हाइयर लेवल पर जो गए हैं इसलिए हम हिंदी फील्ड की तरफ से हम सर को शुभकामनाएं दे रहे हैं और जो टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व में बनारस हिंदी यूनिवर्सिटी डिप्रेशन कोर्स में हमने सर का लेक्चर सुना जो बहुत इंस्पायर्ड हुए हैं उस समय सर तुलनात्मक अध्ययन जो कंपेरेटिव लिटरेचर पे सर का लेक्चर है और मशीन ट्रांसलेशन पे जो दस साल के पहले मशीन ट्रांसलेशन पे जो सर का लेक्चर है वो बहुत एडवांस है नहीं सर उस टाइम हम प्रोफेसर थे जो इस स्टेज पे जो हमको मौका दिया है प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर विजय मोदी सर इस कॉलेज के प्रिंसिपल और सर हमारे कॉलेज जो एलिमेंट्री है सर मैं विशा कॉमर्स कॉलेज में डेप्टी एक्टिव इन काम कर रही हूँ जो आप आप जैसे लोग एलिमेंट्री जैसे कॉलेज में भी आके अपना लेक्चर दे सकते हैं दे बहुत अच्छा है और जो ग्रास रूट लेवल्स और ग्राउंड रियलिटी पे जो एडी पी प्रोग्राम प्रस्तुत कर रहे हैं इसलिए हम धन्यवाद दे रहे हैं जो जिले में मुकुला सम्मान ही नहीं थे कारो ये लोग तो कहा कटी चले ले आकर अंडे ये लोग सामान्य लोग तो दरने ग्रास रूट लेवल से नीचे थोड़ा फेस्ट चला बॉन्ड के लिए अभी चक्कर लो अलग आईसीएसएस and our other guest of the day professor ee katamani garu vice chancellor of federal university and we have with us swagata reddy garu honorary director icssr and all my teachers and students good afternoon to you all today i am inspired i am motivated to the lecture given by the katamani garu It is very inspiring. Though it is simple, interesting, motivating, and inspiring. Actually, I am working at uh, Sunnuvar Kota near Aruku. We have nearly 80 to 90 percent of students are from Madras, an English. Oh. Recently, I got transferred. Uh, recently, I got transferred to uh, Sunnuvar Kota. Uh, most of these examples has imbibed a new spirit in me. How to encourage uh, students uh, studying in rural area? They are very uh, down to earth, very shy. They won't come out of their shells unless we provoke them. And Sir has given us many examples uh, in order to motivate them. And your lecture is uh, not only uh, inspiring, sir, motivating me very much in dealing with the students. You are a living example uh, to tell everyone, especially to my students, that hard work and sheer moral will will take you to all new heights. I thank our principal sir for giving me this opportunity. Okay, sir. I also thank the Zaka Reddy Karu. For uh, uh, giving us an opportunity to apply for various uh, projects, uh, which will be helpful for the teachers, and has given us a wide scope of uh, opportunities, especially for teachers who are doing research. Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Ravindra. C. V. Ravindra, last but not the least. You are recommended by Vice Chancellor, sir. So. 
statement. I have met many people in my life, but uh, I have met Kaji Mani. So that is a wonderful statement. It gives an introspection on life. I think uh, this single statement is worth 10 voluminous theses. That's what I feel. That is really a wonderful statement. That's what our professor wants to uh, complete. Actually, I have finished it. So he, he was about to give a compliment to the vice principal sir, vice chancellor sir. Thank you, thank you for giving this opportunity. Taking Saraswati Puja across the country, Dari Saraswati might have risen to our prayers and send embodiment of knowledge, experience, and wisdom to our college. Great people arrive at this college and trigger thoughts that is sufficient for a century. This hall will is with your thoughts, ideas, and we will cherish this memory for a long time. I don't think people will forget until they go to their grave because a great man who is architect of our new educational policy came in flesh and blood and discussed with the stakeholders, teachers, students, and what is Eh, what? Our <coughs> Vice Chancellor, sir, sir, we are very fortunate that this college is a historic one. You made it great and glorious with your presence. First of all, I would like to thank. <coughs> We Sudhakar Reddigaru for choosing our colleagues. Next, I thank Sri Murkar Garu, ICSSR, Delhi. Sir, Andhra Pradesh government initiated many programs and this college is like an incubation center, an experimental lab for experimenting so many academic ideas. So, we are honored, thrilled and it's our privilege to have you here. Next, regarding Kattimani Sar's speech, you talked about self-discovery, you talked about Nari Shakti. Nari Shakti are women empowerment only, principles are drafted. That's a moment to <coughs> make this program a grand success. Under the leadership of Yenaya Rokhwani Garu, School of Social Sciences, Made this program a grand success. And next, <laughs> I'm sorry, I now pray so good. And they say knowledge goes, but wisdom lingers, according to Jason. But Kattamani Sar is amalgamation of knowledge and wisdom. I have, read, I have written, I have read somewhere that polyglots are very few. He is not only a polyglot, but a translator, transcreator. How could he, a Kannadiga, how could he learn Gujarati? It's mind boggling and really confusing because he, his roots are so deep and grounded. That's why growth for his growth is skywards. So, I really, it's a thrilling challenge for me to propose a word of thanks for such a, such a great man. Great people always demonstrate one thing. They do things in a very simple manner. How we interacted with students, how we negated questions, how we uh, explain NEP policy step by step. Sir, after listening to your lecture, we have realized by 2047, this country would be the best country and developed country in the world. Yes. I would like to thank Sudhakar Reddy sir, who promised us, he is a good giver for our, our social science department. If you apply and if you wanted to do research, we are here, even we will sanction leave. So sir, we are very, very grateful. Now, I wanted to thank 
our principal son. He is a very hard task master. We have been on our toes for the last two weeks. There is that Dasara vacation, but this is bigger, bigger occasion than Dasara vacation. So, sir, our principal sir works like a clock. He is a workaholic and he pushes everyone to work, work, work. So, because of him and a team of dedicated leaders like our vice principal Jayamayam, IKC coordinator Ravagar, academic coordinator Sriyavan Kumar Garu, and the women in this college are blessed with technical skills, teaching skills, what not everything. So, A. Rupani Madam, Lakshmi Madam, all the lecturers, Fatma Madam, everyone worked day in and day out, and Ravindra Sar, everyone. So, <laughs> technical skills, <laughs> technical skills provided by <laughs> Sam, Sam Sar and so, <laughs> I must be excused because, <laughs> so, this is, I thank students for putting such wonderful questions, not provoking questions. So, once again, I thank people on the dais and off the dais. And <laughs> Snacks, tea, and uh, Pratap sir, who received our dignitaries from the airport, and Umamai sir, who is looking up for PRO, and the technical team, Sam sir, and Srivas, and <coughs> Raja Rao, everyone. So, lecturers who attended from other colleges. So, thank you very much. Thank you. For <laughs> then, uh, Dr. Jacob Kalle from ICSU sir, uh, Hyderabad. He has been lecturing with me for the last couple of months and he guided us. That's why today the program has become a reality. So please convey our gratitude to him as well. I requested him to be part of this program today, but uh, somehow due to his office responsibilities, he couldn't come. But our uh, heartfelt thanks to him. And above all, uh, today we are enjoying in this college because of our commissioner, Dr. Paul Pascal Garvayas. Uh, we also uh, place on record our gratitude to him. And I cannot forget my faculty who have been working with me day in and day out once we uh, planned and proposed this program. I would like to thank all my colleagues who worked so hard. Actually, they were trying to get into holiday mode, that's our vacation. But I didn't allow them to get into it. Always I try to motivate them to complete this task. I also would like to thank all the faculty members who joined this program from different colleges, especially from Sulur Pata. Madam, thanks a lot. Big, big thanks to you. And then, I also would like to thank all the students who actively participated in this program. Dear students, listening to such people will be educational to your life. Not for career, but for the life. You have to learn from their presence, from their expertise, and also from their, what we call, uh, uh, concern towards the society. We have to take a view from that. And then, there are certain faculty members who were so keen on listening to the lectures and finally gave their feedback. Definitely, sir, today's lecture will go a long way in the lives of all the students, not only the students, but the faculty. I could learn a lot from your lecture. And I, I am the big beneficiary of your lecture. The moment we thought of this title, and we were not so sure whether we are attacked or not, but now, always I see in my college with my colleagues that God is on our side. Even today we realize and this is true because we have selected a right topic for a right person. Sir, thank you so much. Sir, Sudhakar Redigar, you have given us a wonderful opportunity. Makumbi, Chappapa Bhote, Kattumani Gare Avaro Thiri. Okka sir, a very person in this year. Ego me went out to Oma. Sir, I am a daily tourist to Oma, daily world to Oma, was to Oma, was to Oma, time out to Oma. Final gara, if it is not today, it can never be. So finally, Sar has given us this time and today we could benefit from his talk and uh, I hope definitely in days to come, the way is open for Sir to visit this institution and to inspire the students as many times as possible. 
we have to inform the students mello ki cheppagopothe mana tappu cheppin tarvata definitely they get inspired dear students as we are about to close this program so we all stand up once again you will stand your ovation to both the luminaries on the stage <laughs>